Ezekiel's telling us now, okay, hey, I know you guys are in exile, as you set up for us really well. I, I know you're in exile. I know it looks traumatic. I know it looks like it's total despair, but you deserved it, as you said, right? You, you know, you're worse than Sodom and all that good stuff there. But I will bring you back and I'll restore you. And I'll set my King David as my servant over all of them. That's Jesus. There's no question about that. That's the Jesus part of the story. Jesus comes in and says, I'm going to be that prince forever. And then, and I'm going to give you a new heart and a new spirit. And I'm going to cause you to walk in my ordinances, right? That's, this is obviously Jeremiah 31 uh, and Ezekiel as well. I'm going to cause you to walk in my ordinances. And that, of course, is this Jesus' promise of the, the coming of the Spirit. I'm going to give my Spirit, and He's going to transform your heart because He'll be with you and He'll be in you always. And thus, through Christ and through the Spirit, we are now able to fulfill the, the commission of being the people of God, which that mission was to be a light unto the nations, to make the nations known. The ultimate fulfillment of that becomes when God dwells among His people in fullness throughout the entirety of the earth, and there's no more death and no more sin and no more no more suffering, right? So that's what Revelation 21 and 22 are telling us about. This is the ultimate fulfillment of this. So we have this fulfillment coming in Christ through the Spirit of the promises to Ezekiel and the promises to the people of Israel, coming through Christ and then through the Spirit, ultimately the, making us temples and having circumcised hearts. And Paul even uses temple imagery in, in, throughout the New Testament, of course. You can go to 1 Corinthians 3, you can go to uh, e e Ephesians 2. You know, you are the temple of the living God, 2 Corinthians 6. And he's quoting Ezekiel 37 in 2 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 14 through 18, saying, you are the temple of the living God. Don't be unequally yoked because what does light have? You know, darkness and uh, not, nothing. And I will dwell among you, and I'll be your God, and you'll be my people. So that's a present reality. I think that's something that we want to stress a little bit as we as we move on. All right. And then the ultimate fulfillment of that, meaning that the the ultimate goal, the the telos, that the end, is accomplished in the New Jerusalem.